What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. Hope all you had a wonderful weekend. Um, before I get into this video, let me just say this. Brittany Sarpy. Brittany Sarpy did a wonderful job in her movie last night. It was on sci-fi called Truth or Dare. Um, for those who don't know Brittany Sarpy, you ought to know. She plays Valerie Spencer on this show on General Hospital. Um, her movie last night was good. It was a great cast. Um, the movie reminded me a lot of Final Destination. Um, I had DVR'd it last night because I was watching um, WWE Hell in a Cell, so I DVR'd it. I watched it like around midnight last night. Um, it was a good movie. Like It was really a good, good movie. So, um, yeah, if you go to Sci-Fi Channel, maybe if you have On Demand, check it out. It was It's called Truth or Dare. I'm just a little pissed about the ending because I don't know who survived. But the way that they left the ending, it was like they set it up for a future sequel. So I hope there is a sequel to the movie. Pretty dope movie. Usually, I don't like horror movies that come out nowadays, but that was a pretty good movie. Pretty dope. I think she should do more horror movies because she's a natural. Um, so anyway, getting into this video, into the, today's episode, <sighs> Sonny and Carly. I didn't care for them today, honestly. I really didn't. Carly, I understand their hatred of Ava. Like I said, they have every right to hate Ava. They really do. Ava has done some horrible things. Since everybody likes to bring it up, yes, she did kill Connie Falconeri. Honestly, I felt bad Connie died. I really did. I felt bad Connie died. But I didn't really care for that character. At all. I'm going to be real. I didn't care for the Connie Falconeri character. I will say this. Connie did leave her mark on the show when she created Crimson 10 years ago. Because think about it. Crimson is still around 10 years later. You know what I'm saying? So that's very, you know, a good legacy to leave behind. You know, that's interesting. You know, she created this magazine with Jax. Ten years later, the magazine is still around. You know, that's her legacy. But other than that, it's like, I didn't really care for the character. I'm going to be honest. I felt bad when she died, but I could do without Connie. Um, I know a lot of people think Ava should go to prison or whatever. I think she should, but... To be honest, Ava should go down for her crimes, but, but if Ava go down for her crimes and she go to prison, Sonny should go to prison for all of his crimes, all the murders he committed. Jason should go to prison for all the crimes and murders he committed. Carly should be in prison for all the crimes she committed. And yes, Carly has committed a lot of crimes that she never went to prison for. There's plenty of people on this show who should be in jail right now. So if Ava goes to jail, everybody else should go to jail. Fair is fair. Um, if Sonny and Carly were smart, they would look for that recording that has proof that Ava murdered Connie, if they were smart, because that evidence, I believe, is still out there somewhere. Didn't Paul Hornsby had that recording? I think Paul had it, or Scott took it, or somebody took that recording, I forgot who. But I think that recording is still out there for confessing to killing Connie, so, and the judge did say that if that recording ever popped up, the trial will go on. She will be rearrested and retried for killing Connie. So, if I were Sonny and Carly, I would be looking for that evidence because it's floating out there somewhere. Um. So yeah, Carly, of course, is you know judging Griffin for you know being interested in Ava or whatever, or being around Ava. Carly, mind your business. Who he associates with is none of your concern. I understand you hate the woman, but you have no right to talk about anybody's personal life. It's, you don't even know Griffin like that. She don't even know Griffin. So it's like, why are you commenting on who he associates with? Mind your business. Um, I really, really didn't care for Sonny and Carly today. Honestly, they sit near mourning Morgan's death. Honestly, I don't think Morgan's dead, so therefore these scenes are redundant these scenes are for nothing because he's not dead i don't believe it i think the writers at some point are going to bring him back um maybe not this year maybe not next year but a year later maybe they're going to bring him back somewhere down the line um definitely they're going to bring him back because everybody know if there's no body he's coming back 
they still haven't found Morgan's body. So obviously he's not dead. I didn't believe that they were really going to kill him off long term. I don't think they are. Um, shit, if AJ Quartermain could come back after all those years, trust me, Morgan's going to be back too. Nicholas at some point is going to be back. All those characters at some point are going to be back. I think AJ might really be dead this time, but the rest of them, they're definitely coming back at some point in, in life. Um, so anyway, Sam and Michael were talking at Kelly's. And I'm happy that Sam brought up her past when she first came to Port Charles. The fact that she was a con artist. What irritated me about Sam was that every time she's in a scene with somebody else, guess who she has to bring up and talk about? Jason. Like, woman, why don't you just handcuff yourself to Jason so that way you could be around him 24-7? She talks about Jason every second of the day. Like, does your life revolve around Jason now? It's like, seriously, she can't go five minutes without bringing up Jason. Jesus Christ. And Michael, he is so obsessed with Nell that he forgot all about Jason. He didn't even know Jason was out of the coma. He didn't even know Jason was home. He didn't know nothing. Like, you're so obsessed with this girl, you don't even pay attention to what's going on around you. Get a clue, Michael. But, um, I am happy that Michael is finally investigating this situation with Nell and Zach. It's about time. So he hired Curtis to prove that Nell is innocent. It's about time he looked into it. This is what Sonny and Carly been telling him from the get-go. Investigate. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's about time. Thank you. You're finally wising up, kid. And all it took was a conversation with Sam. Well, Michael always did listen to Sam. Every time he'd go to Sam over the years for advice, he always did listen to her. So it's about time he wisened up. And it took Sam to tell him. Um... Nell and Nina, I didn't care one iota for their scenes, not one bit. Two useless characters I can care less about. Here's the thing, how about the writers swap out Nina and Nell and we finally get some Brad and Lucas scenes, how about that? Because Valerie mentioned that they were thinking about adopting a kid, why can't we see that storyline? I think that would be a much more interesting storyline than some of the crap that's going on now. So why not see that? We haven't seen Lucas and Brad in God knows how long. Last time we seen Brad, they thought that he was framing Finn, and we haven't seen Lucas in I don't know how long. He wasn't even at his mother's brunch. Like, he wasn't even there. Like, come on. How y'all just gonna backburner people like that? Who people, who the fans actually want to see? Because a lot of fans have been wanting to see Brad and Lucas and what's going on in their marriage, and now there's talk of them maybe adopting why do we have to get the boring scenes for the storylines that sound interesting? And it's so funny because a lot of the storylines they mention that are going on off screen sounds way better than what we see on screen. I'm just saying. Um, they need to handle that. Get new storylines. So Jason was on the phone. He called the Pettenville to try to talk to Julian. Julian, I guess, called him back. Whatever this new business venture he's looking into, this new career... I guess it probably has something to do with Julian's media company, maybe. You know, Julian had a lot of assets before he went to prison. So my guess is Jason or Drew is trying to tap into that. You know, that's trying to be his new career. He's keeping it a secret from Sam for whatever reason. I guess he's waiting until the contracts are signed and the deal is done for him to tell Sam. So he told her he had to go to New York. And of course, Sam is treating him like a child, telling him, no, you're not going to New York. Sam, that's a grown man. How are you going to tell a grown man he can't go to New York? I understand he just came out of a coma, but he's walking, he's talking, he's not dubbed over in pain, so obviously he's okay to travel. Like, Sam need to get a life of her own. I'm sorry. She need, Her and Curtis need to partner up and become PIs together because Sam needs a life outside of Jason. Like, seriously, everything about Sam revolves around Jason. It's, it's so irritating to watch. It's like, do you not have an identity of your own? 
Like, seriously, Sam used to be so independent. Now it's like she's dependent on Jason. And it's kind of irritating me. I get that that's her husband and all, but I don't know any married couple who's around each other all the time and who speaks about each other all the time when they're around other people. Like, come on now. Y'all are not newlyweds. Y'all been married for a while and y'all have known each other for years. Like, y'all are out of the honeymoon stage. You don't need to be up each other's behind 24-7. And Jason don't even be thinking about Sam like that. Sam's always thinking about Jason all the time. It's like, get a life. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with being in love with your spouse and wanting to be around your spouse. That's a beautiful thing. It is. But when you're away from them, it's like she can't wait to go back home and just be all up around them 24-7. That's not natural. I'm just saying. I understand he almost died and stuff, but still, even prior to that, she was just all up on Jason, like, every five seconds, you know, every minute of the day. So, anyway, Jason, Steve Burton Jason, is on that boat or whatever. He's on that ship, and he can't believe that it's been five years. He thought at first Huxley, you know, fabricated the data, his phone and stuff like that to make it seem like it's been five years, but now he realizes it's been five years. So he's thinking and stuff like that. He's thinking like, how did time fly so fast? Um, some people think Huxley is back on the show because he has something to do with Nicholas or whatever. I don't know. He hasn't even mentioned Nicholas at this point. So I don't really know what Huxley is even doing on this show again. I have no clue. Um, anyway, so Drew Jason... I call him Drew Jason until we find out for sure. Him and Sam were at the hospital. They were talking to Griffin or whatever, and they were wondering, did Griffin call them, you know, call Sam's phone from Russia? Griffin denied it. He was trying to think how he could have called her, and he was like, I didn't call you. So when they left, he um, he said that he didn't even have her phone, his her contact in his phone. So he looked at his call log to see his last calls, and he asked the nurse, to um he asked the nurse to pull up Sam's file to see her cell phone number to give him her cell phone so when the nurse read off the number it was the same number that was in his phone and his call log I'm like did he honestly forget that he gave that stranger his phone it obviously could have been during that time I mean put two and two together you gave a stranger in Russia your cell phone and it just so happens that Sam number was on the phone at the same day that you gave the guy the phone. It doesn't take that long to figure it out. And Griffin looked like he was thinking hard. Um. So anyway, Franco. Why, oh, why, oh, why is Franco still on this show? Franco... The writers are just putting him a part of this storyline just to keep him in Jason's orbit. Because Franco really does not need to be a part of this storyline at all. So he finally told Elizabeth the truth about Drew and Jason being twins. And he got mad because she wanted to tell Jason. Um, Jason has a right to know that he had a twin brother. And he told my oh, he worried that the quarter mains are going to retaliate. What quarter mains? Hell, half the quarter mains are pretty much dead. So who's going to retaliate? I'm just saying. Tracy is out of the country, and even if Tracy was here, she probably wouldn't even care because she didn't really care about Jason to begin with, so I doubt she would want retaliation. Two, Monica, I'm sure, would not retaliate because it was over 30 years ago. What can she do at this point? Only way I could see a quarter main retaliating is if Alan and Edward were still here. If Alan and Edward were still alive, then yeah, I could see the two of them retaliating. But the rest of the family, I doubt it at this point. Them two, yeah. The rest of them, I doubt it. Um, you know, Monica would just want to know what happened. That's all she would really want to know at this point. If this was years ago, I'm pretty sure that they would have retaliated. But now, she would just want to know the details. You know, that's all she would want to know. Um... So Elizabeth was ready to tell Jason or whatever, and Franco tried to ask her not to do it. Franco, shut up. I'm just so sick of Franco. Roger Howarth is my boy, don't get me wrong, but it's like he has no purpose as Franco. They should have just brought him back as somebody else. He would have been more he would have been better received had he been a different character. 
But Franco, it, it ain't working for me. It hasn't been working for me for the last four years. So it's like it's time to dump that character. ABC, Frank Valentini, cut your losses, dump the character, please. It's not doing you any favors. Um. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you thought about today's episode. Let me know. What do you think Jason Drew's new career is going to be? Since he called Julian, what do you think his new career is going to be? Let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.